Welcome back to Arkham Horror 3rd Edition. We're playing Approach of Azathoth. And I, I think he's here. <laughs> I, think, I don't think he's approaching anymore. I think he's actually showing up. Oh dear. Alright, what are we going to do for Mark? Mark's going to start off here. The first action he's going to do is he's going to futilely attempt to research this clue. Using his observation of two. I probably should have done that last time because he was blessed. He's not blessed anymore. So his first action, he's going to try to research. Come on, we need a five six and he gets a five he's able to research the clue oh that is so good this goes on the azathoth sheet all right well we have our fifth clue on the sheet which is kind of good <laughs> kind of good but kind of can we take a look at this and have it focus a little bit uh when there are five clues on this card flip card nine and read lost in time mm -hmm. The only way to get clues on this card is we need to go through to the future. And as an action, prepare for the massive ritual uh, enclosed in the circle. And you have to test lore minus two. For Mark, that's just one die. And for Agnes, that's going to be two dice plus whatever other bonuses she could get, possibly. <laughs> but remember, Agnes is almost insane. And of course, once you go through to the future, instead of resolving an encounter on the space, uh, you fear the future is what awaits the earth you call home. You suffer to horror. So if they even get over there, it's going to be short-lived. Oh, good Lord. All right. So that was the first action for Mark. Let's have a second action. Mark's going out fighting. So for his second action, he's going to move over here to this occult ritualist, and he's going to become delayed using his one-man army ability. <laughs> and he's going to just lay the hurt down on him. Hopefully. So there's no modifiers to strength. Uh, one health. So he's going to engage him. Mark's got four strength and the automatics. He's rolling seven dice against this guy. And uh, all we need is one success to take him out. So five, six, seven. Come on, Mark. One success. And oh my god. Mark gets no successes. Oh man, but he does have a fallback plan. Of course, Mark's fallback plan is to use Sophie's portrait. Once per round, while re resolving a test, you may suffer a damage to re-roll any die or all dice. He's got five damage, three health left. He's going to re-roll all those dice, another seven dice, to try and take out this cultist. Mark is probably feeling that it's kind of futile at this point, but he's going down. He's going to go down fighting. All right, seven dice, one success. Really, 14 dice. If we don't get one success, yeah, okay. Come on. Mark, and this time he gets a couple of successes. He gets three successes, so this time he does not fail. He takes out the cultist. Gone, out of here. That guy's not going to be spitting doom onto the board anymore. Oh, goodness. All right, that's Mark's two actions. Now it's Agnes's turn. We did want to get them together, but I don't know if they want to be together on the bridge. Ah, and we have no money. First action for Agnes. She's going to try to get rid of, I guess, the one Doom. She might as well, because why not? So she has a lore of four. She's going to be rolling four dice. And we need at least one success. And she gets a couple successes. So she removes the one Doom from the location. And for her second action, she is going to move one, two, up here to the train station and that's her two actions now it's monster activation time monster phase but there are no monsters on the board mark made sure of that which takes us right into the encounter phase so we'll start off with mark mark even though he's delayed we'll have an encounter he is in the street space with the little tree symbol so he's over here he's in a scenic location uh, something rustles through the bushes to your right. It's probably nothing. You struggle to keep calm. Mark is a pretty calm dude. He's got four for willpower. He'll be rolling four dice. Struggling to remain calm. <laughs> he doesn't. He freaks out. Yeah, he's he knows the impending doom. Oh, wow, that's pretty bad, and there's no way to reroll that because he already did that. Um, if you pass, do, 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 do. if you fail, the rustling becomes crackling and crashing, and you run for it. Okay, so nothing really horrible happens. He just hightails it out of there. He's like, nah, 
there's enough garbage going on in the world at the moment. I don't need to put up with whatever was rustling and crashing. All right, we have an encounter for Agnes. Of course, she's in an anomaly space. And she is in a place with two doom. A bolt of fire streaks in the sky and impacts near you. You suffer two damage. Okay, she can handle that. <laughs> in the crater, you find a small green glowing rock that hurts to look at it. Wrapping it as thorough as you can in a spare cloth, you look for a way to dispose of it. You remove two doom from your space and gain a remnant. So she takes a couple of damage, removes two doom from her space, and gets a remnant. Cool! So the two doom go away. Uh, she suffers two damage, gets a remnant. All right, Agnes is going to suffer two damage. You can see she is absolutely burnt out, and she gets another remnant. So she's got three damage now. She's down to three health, one sanity, <laughs> and she has a dark pact. What else could go wrong? Well, that's our encounter phase over with, and now we are into the pulling tokens out of the bag mythos phase, and that is very likely going to be our undoing. It's all up to the bag of joy to see what we get. So Mark gets a couple of tokens to start with, and the first token he gets is a doom. <laughs> doom. Yeah, we have 10 doom on our sheet. And where does this doom show up? It shows up at East Town. Get out! Okay, so the, at Hibbs Roadhouse, it becomes the unstable location. All right. Hibbs Roadhouse unstable location and it gets one doom wow which didn't go on to the card so huh all right well token number one over with for mark token number two and it is a blank all right blank for mark oh man first token for agnes and she gets a clue well yay <laughs> yay we get a clue showing up oh a clue is a top card it shows up at the Merchant District, of, well, of course, with all the anomalies hanging around there. So I'm going to shuffle that into their top three cards now. It's one of the top three cards. Uh, we'll probably never get to it, so there's that. All right, boom. And we get a clue. Another one showing up here, but we have an anomaly, so we can't even get to it anyway. All right, last token for Agnes for this episode is <laughs> a newspaper clipping. Oh. Oh, yay. We know how delightful these are. Ah, curfew established. Sheriff Angle calls curfew routine. Three missing persons are affected. Neighbors, um, authorities insist nothing's wrong. Headline, you suffer one damage for each monster in your neighborhood. That would be zero. Oh, man, we, we dodged that one. And for some unknown reason, it's not the end of the game yet. <laughs> I thought for sure... That would have been the end of the game. How many tokens are left in the bag? We have, oh, we got lots of tokens left in the bag. Lots of bad things to happen for next time. Oh my goodness. All right. I guess we're going to zoom down a little bit, take a look at a couple of things, and wrap up our episode for today. All right. So take a look at our Azazoth sheet. We do have our five clues on there, but we have to go through into the future, do a lore check, and put five of those clues on card nine without going insane. And Agnes is one sanity away from going insane. And Mark is three. Beautiful. It's beautiful. We have ten Doom tokens on the Azasaw sheet. Three more, and yeah, uh, that's going to happen. All right, we're going to zoom out to the main board and wrap up for today. All right, we're kind of zooming in here. We have Mark Harrigan is delayed. We have an anomaly in here in the Merchant District. We have an anomaly over here in downtown. We also have an anomaly here in Northside. It's all just delightful. We have our future gate to move through here, going to the future. We have our characters in a horrible state of repair, <laughs> or despair, I guess you can call it. And we have a bunch more tokens we have to pull at the end of the next episode. So, yeah, we're wrapping up today. Uh... I, I just, I have no idea how it would be even possible to win the game at this point, but we're going to play it through anyway, because that's what I do here on my channel. I play the games right through to the end. So the last episode or two, a little anticlimactic. I think you can see the writing on the wall. Azathoth is on his way. Three more Doom tokens, and I think it's game over. But we're going to give it our best shot right to the end. We'll see what happens. Maybe Mark will jump through. Uh, he can't even. I think it takes an action to move through there. Let's double check that. Uh, 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 yeah, as an action. So, and Mark's delayed. You move to the future. Perform this action only at the epicenter. Um, the future is adjacent, is not adjacent to your space. You will not be able to move back 
with a normal move action. Yeah. Maybe there's some things in the game, items or something that lets you move to any location from anywhere. Astral projection, motorcycle or something. I don't know. So <laughs> once we go through that, we're in big trouble. We're going to have to start researching five of those tokens. I don't think we have the time. I honestly don't think we do. But anyway, we'll find out. So thanks so much for watching along. Thanks for your comments, descriptions, and likes. This is Arkham Horror 3rd Edition. We're playing the really easy introductory scenario. <laughs> approach of Azathoth. Yes, I say that sarcastically. Thanks so much. You'll see you tomorrow for the continuation, very possibly the conclusion.